Hi guys, in this video we'll be going through the following question. An object is subjected to the forces shown in the diagram below. Determine the magnitude and the direction of the force required to keep the object in equilibrium. So the first thing that we see here is that each of these forces can be broken into uh, their components along the x direction and the y direction. So this 5 kN force has a component going downwards and a component going towards the left. This component here will be 5 sine 70 and this component will be 5 cosine 70 going towards the left. This 10 kN force can be broken into two components as well. So it has a component going upwards and a component going towards the right. This part here will become 10 cosine 75 and this part will be 10 sine 55. Sorry, that should be 55 as well. The 8 kN force is completely in the x direction so we do not need to break that down further. The next step is to find out the total force in the x direction and the y direction. For adding the forces in the x direction, where forces to the right are positive, I will have 8 kilonewtons to the right, 10 cos 55 to the right, and 5 cos 70 to the left. We can add these forces together. So 8 plus 10 cosine 55 minus 5 cosine 70 I get 12.025 the units being kilo newtons for adding the forces in the y direction with up being our positive direction, I have 10 sine 55 and negative 5 sine 70, so that's going down. The 8 kN force has no component in the y direction. So adding those forces together, I have 10 times sine 55 minus 5 times sine 70, 3.493. And the units being kilonewtons as each of these are in kilonewtons. Now I can find the resultant force. So to draw a diagram of the resultant force, I have a force in the x direction of 12.025 and a force going up of 3.493. The resultant force will be going from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the last vector here. So here is our resultant force 
and the angle for that resultant force will be this angle theta. So R will be equal to the square of the two sides of these, uh, this triangle added together. So using Pythagoras, we have 3.493 squared plus 12.025 squared and that value square rooted. So I've stored those two numbers, but we can use that. So 3.493 squared plus 12.025 squared. And square root of that number, our resultant force is 12.522. The angle for the resultant, we can find using the tan rule. where the opposite is 3.493 and the adjacent is 12.025. The angle theta will be 3.493 divided by 12.025 and inverse tan of that value we have 16.2 degrees. Now the question asks us for the force that is required to put the system back into equilibrium. So that will be the force which is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to this resultant force. So the equilibrium is this green vector that I will draw. So the magnitude will be, for the equilibrium, 12.52 kilonewtons and the direction will be 180 degrees uh, in addition to this angle which we have here. So the angle for the equilibrium, which will be this angle here, I'll call that alpha. So alpha will be equal to 180 degrees plus theta, this is equal to 196.2 degrees. I can now write the vector for the equilibrium in polar notation. So E has a magnitude of 12.52 kilonewtons at an angle of 196.2 degrees. All right, so this force is what is required to bring this system into balance, into equilibrium. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.